Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be on my, well, Monomorium Minimum, as I said in the last video. <laughs> These con- oh no. Well, this is, should be just a little bit of the video. This colony has been doing absolutely crazy. The colony has been growing exponentially over the past few weeks, even more since, you know, the last time that you've seen them. They have grown probably around about two times larger, maybe a little bit less, I might be a little uh, exaggerating there, but they have still grown a lot more. They have grown so much, in fact, that I can no longer really record in the main nest the form of Squarium, which is insane, because, I mean, just look at this. It is an absolutely insane amount of workers that are just hanging up that pretty much it just looks black, it looks like there's mold in there. But no, it's just all ants. You may also notice that there is a lot of escapees. Well, I mean, I can't really stop that. It's just what they do. Here is the second nest. Um, lots and lots of what you can see is a lay pupae and larvae. This is a probably around about maybe a hundred pieces of a lay brood, which kind of excites me because that means that they might be inbreeding pretty soon. Now, an issue with it, my phone just went off, an issue with um, this species inbreeding is that they might end up killing the inbred queens within two months, but if they don't, that means that there's going to be even more queens in this colony than there already is. Like, 63 queens is already big enough to sustain like over 2,000, 200,000 workers. I connected up this nest not only two, like about two weeks ago, and they've already pretty much completely filled this thing up. This means I'm going to have to connect up yet another nest just to hold them in here. Here is the uh, tubing that connects the three, the outworld, the nest, and the secondary nest. You can see that it is filled with larvae. Which means that they have no more space to put larvae inside of the nest. It's... It's mind-boggling how big this colony has gotten in such a short amount of time. The escapees have been escaping, you know, a lot also. They have uh, pretty much made a huge trail going into my vivarium that has been going on ever since. Even up into my, uh, my second store where, story on this uh, shelf. Here is the garbage pile in the outworld. I cleaned that out literally two weeks ago and it's already filled like that. <laughs> you see they are also munching on a lot of uh, chicken because I ended up having some chicken the other day so you know might as well just give them a little bit of that. Um, the colony has been eating around about 10 to 20 uh, mealworms every day. They have also been chugging uh, sugar water very quickly which means I'm gonna have to replace that thing right there. Uh, you can see in that shot just how many workers there are in that secondary nest as well. I can very quickly see this colony becoming a very large issue, almost as large as the Solenopsis Invicta that I kept a few days, or not a few days ago, uh, a few years back, um, which is kind of bad, but also it's pretty cool. Anyways, that is the end of the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.